No, come back. Come back. I just want to take you home with me. Surely, you'll like flying around in space, right? Hey there, everybody. This is Hardly Bardly. Welcome back to another edition of Starbound Racken Universe Mod. When we last left off, we were revisiting the oceanic planets and trying to explore them in depth. But we had a lot of hijinks along the way, so we didn't get to explore as much as I wanted to. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to look at the uh, Poseidon uh, subcontroller that we didn't get to last time. At least not for more than a couple of seconds with it taking off into the unknown like that. And we're also going to look at the islands themselves and actually tunnel underneath the ocean. Now, I've actually found us a medium world to take a look at this. So I'm actually going to pop up on the screen right now the details with the new planet. And uh, you'll be seeing that right now as I'm talking. And um, as you can see, it gives a similar description of the planet. We've basically got the exact same thing except it's a medium-sized planet. And therefore, I'm going to take that down now. Therefore, we are going to have an easier time getting to the bottom of the ocean, such as you can see here. So that took like hardly no time whatsoever. And it's actually so close to the surface that you can actually see coconut trees underneath the ocean. So another thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to be playing with a few terraformers in this world too. So we're going to bounce around here and take a look. So it seems like we've got uh, plenty of holodal on the surface again, just like in the old one. And the islands are a lot closer together too, instead of spaced out further apart. So that's actually going to be quite useful. Or at least it seemed like they were not so spaced out. Okay. Ah, okay. I don't want you all around me. Go away. Go away, you weird things. There's a tiny turtle here on the roof. Just a tiny turtle. Go, tiny turtle. Go, you. Okay, back to what I was doing. Oh, apparently there's a sewer here. Interesting. And... Hmm, a chest with some titanium in it. Okay. That was uh, completely random and pretty useless. So, all right. And as you can see, the islands here are very similar. The ore pockets that they have are very small and really not worth digging into because you see, if I do this, it just takes away most of the land itself. And once the land's gone, well, you're pretty much gonna have like the entire settlements go away. Now there is supposed to be a settlement down underneath the ocean here somewhere. And I'm noticing, too, that um, we don't seem to have the big fish like we normally do here. So, hey! Bouncing, bouncing! There is another chest. Woo! Upgrade module. We can use that for stuff. And there's some bananas. Finally, bananas. And a tiny shark. Alright, so first things first, I actually got us some new vehicles because apparently I couldn't take them to another world. So first things first, we're going to put our Poseidon controller right here. There's a crab on it, so the crab needs to go away. He needs to go away right now. Okay, so much easier to get this... Oh no, there's a big fish. Much easier to get this one underwater than... The other one, and it seems to be going faster than the Triton subcontroller. So that's nice. And it looks like, ah, yes, there's an entrance to some other underwater ruins there. So that's, that's kind of interesting. But there's also Big Fishy there, so we're not going to go with that Big Fishy. And it seems like this one's just naturally glowing. Instead of me having to turn the light on. Oh, look, a dolphin! Hi, dolphin! Dolphin, scare off the big fishy for me. These dolphins won't hurt you either. They're just 
they're just there. And, like, there's a whole school of them. That's so cool. I like those dolphins. They are cool looking. So, that, that's pretty nice. Um, let's see. I'm not seeing the Halotl settlement, so maybe it was just on the surface. And I'm cool with that. But yeah, I want you to take a particular look at the background here. I'm going to go ahead and head back up to the surface. So, you see how, like, at the bottom of the sea, there was, like, a little bit of, like, sea mountains and everything? Woo! It's nighttime, apparently. Okay, that's kind of cool. And these things are annoying, so I'm going to kill them while I'm talking to you guys. So, that's kind of cool. You can see the planet in the background. Ah! Stinking. Alright, so, yeah, this is a good spot for this. I'm going to kill off the crab, kill off that thing, so we'll have room to work. And then I'm going to just clear out a little space. So, what I'm going to do here momentarily is I'll come back up here and do some terraformers. But first, I'm actually going to go... I'm just going to hop down to the bottom here. Just going to leave the subcontroller up there. So, we can actually go terraform later. So, what I'm going to do now... I'm going to go ahead and put on the EPP that I had earlier. I'll put that on now and put the wings over top of it so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm actually going to tunnel my way underneath the ocean here. So, and you shouldn't really have to worry about like tunneling too far and like the ocean just draining or anything like that. I've never had that happen before. So, I mean, I guess theoretically it would be possible if you took out enough water and you were on a small planet, but I've never done that before. What I'm seeing now is eh, it looks kind of like a jungle biome, or maybe a lush biome. Just a lot of foliage, a lot of caves. And some pitfalls. So, and you can find just about anything under here. Okay, this is weird. There's, like, actually a settlement here. Looks like somebody was staying there. And, well, what do you know? There's a lab here. So I'm just going to take everything that's there. Or most everything, anyway. Just fall through the ground. I don't know if we're going to, like, reach lava or not. I've actually not tunneled to the bottom of an oceanic planet before, just like some of the strange seas, which I will do some interesting videos over that later on. But for right now, it just seems kind of like some of the stuff that you would find under a desert or a lush world. I'm just kind of falling through. There's some larger ore deposits, it looks like. But still fairly small. And yep, we're going to tunnel all the way down here to lava. Now, I probably should have thought about a way of getting back up to the surface earlier, and I didn't, so I guess we're just going to have to hop on back up there. Oh well. Not a big deal. I'll find another place to put us a terraformer. So... is probably good. Eh, what does this person want? What do you want? No, I'm not gathering bees for you. Oh, I need to switch that out. There we go. Bouncy, bouncy. Oh, right. Okay, here's a nice place to start. Um... Remember what I was telling you in the other video that sometimes if a planet's um, ocean is shallow enough, sometimes the complex will stick out of the water? Yep, well, here you go. And look, there's not even any big fish in there either. So, yeah. 
Like, apparently, like, this is so shallow that even half the complex is, like, way up in the air. Ah! Okay, so... That's actually pretty cool. That looks like all of it, too, so... I'm wondering if I could get up to the other side with... Nope. Nope, apparently I can't. So I'm gonna have to actually sink down to the bottom here just to be able to go through that and get to the other side the way I needed to. Okay. That's kind of cool. You can see like almost like reddish coral and stuff in the background. Okay, so come on. Let me through. Let me through. Yes, thank you. Alright, so we'll just uh, continue on to the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up and actually... Huh. Wow, this is a lot further underground than I expected it to be. Okay then. But I'm going to go back up to the surface and we're going to play around with some microformers. And then we're going to terraform the planet. And we haven't really had many problems with big fish here. And I suppose I could have bounced around to the other side, but I didn't really want to, so... I just had to another island. This one doesn't seem like too bad of an island to start terraforming on. These guys might think otherwise. What are you doing? Oh, there's another one in the sky. It's a bird! It's a plane! No, it's annoying! And look, they've even got like little reef pods there. Isn't that cute? Alright, so let's go ahead and try a few microformers, shall we? So, first things first. Let's take a look and see what we have here. We've got a bunch of different ones. So, let's try a Badlands microformer. That way we don't have to use a bunch of essences. Not that it would matter with admin cheats on, but still. For the smaller areas, smaller planets, these actually don't take nearly as, enough, as much time as larger areas do. Especially since this one just has a little bit of land on top of the ocean. So it's not going to change the ocean itself. A microformer won't. I don't know if a larger terraformer will, because I haven't tried like with... A volcanic one or not so anyway this is badlands and see it's just kind of left like red desert dirt pretty much and uh oh it took out their plants I bet they're not too happy about that oops sorry guys it's like go well oops too bad sorry guys Let's try an Urchius Microformer. Let's see how that does. Wow. That is colorful. Yeah, let's uh, actually do the time warp cheat real quick to get us back on track during the day. There we go. Whoa, that is a bright bright tree. Oh my goodness how bright that is. Ooh, look, it's a bug. Let's kidnap the bug. I've got the bug. It's called a sand clown. Okay, that's cool. So, well, now they have crystals growing under their water. Those are so bright. They're putting out my eyes. Ah. Just, just look at this. This is just a big crystal mass here. Like a big bunch of rock candy growing in the middle of the ocean. Sweet. Well, not really. I, I don't actually want to lick that, but it does look kind of cool. Okay. So, now that we've done that one, let's see what else we have. Um, oh, yes. Let's do a Haunter Graveyard Microformer in the middle of an ocean. Because, I mean... 
Why not? There was one in uh, Walking on a Star Unknown, so why not here? Wow. Definitely freaky looking. And definitely very foreboding. What does this guy want? Two gold ore? Okay. There you go. Sure, I'll take your buddy some stuff later. Wow, that... Yeah, that looks pretty creepy. I wonder with the sun going down if there's going to be some monsters that are going to show up here in this haunted area. Anything? Anybody? Anybody at all? Any monsters at all? Nothing. Well, fine. I didn't want to see any monsters anyway. Alright, so let's try... Let's try an oasis since, I mean, we are on top of the ocean after all. And boom! It's... Oh! Now I've dried out all their water. Uh... I can fix that. I, I, I can fix it. I, I can fix it! I promise I can fix. There we go. I fixed. See? See, ain't that nice of me? I fixed it. I fixed it. And those people are very patient with the fact that I am just, uh... Yeah, uh, doing all kinds of crazy stuff to their land. They're, they're so patient. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Let's do a meadow one. Ah, ain't this pretty? Pretty little meadow. And it's just one tree there. Here, let's take a look around and see what it looks like everywhere else. Okay, <laughs> so there's still some crystals here and like a little bit of... Like a little bit of the lush area. I mean the meadow area. But it's still mostly beach. So that's kind of cool. Alright, so I've played around enough with that. So I think it's time for us to actually terraform the whole planet. So, um, I just wonder if I did a prairie one, what would happen? Because I've done a lush one before, and it actually gets rid of the big fish underground. Or, well, an Eden one does. But with the prairie one, I wonder what it's going to do. Okay, so while this is on its last little bit of terraforming, we're going to actually go under the water now. See, look, all the little small fish are missing, and as you can tell, we have like a savanna background here. Until you go down so far, then it's like you just kind of fell off a cliff, and there's just rock everywhere. So what you would normally see for the underground, you're seeing here, even the further we go down, just until we get like toward the bottom, then you can see the dolphins again and some more of the ocean. So we're gonna go on back up here and hopefully we'll be back in time for it to completely terraform to the last bit. Because I know it certainly takes a while for this thing. And unfortunately I couldn't really find any small oceanic planets, and trust me, I've been over like 30 or 40 stars in the past few days in order to find a small oceanic planet. Out of all the planets I've gone to, that was the most elusive one that I've come across is a small ocean planet. I think I found one and I was actually going to use it for something else. I think I actually did use it to experiment on, so... That is why we're not on that one. And let's see what all difference it's caused. First things up, it's caused some different bugs to come around as well as different wildlife. So let's go ahead and hop around a little bit. Yep, there's definitely 
some new stuff around here. Oh, there's my Triton subcontroller. Hey, stop trying to eat it. Bad bird. It's such a mean bird. All right. So we're under the water here. And wow, it looks like there's still some fish. There's still some dolphins. Okay, so apparently it only terraforms to a certain length, but it's still left like some of this. So maybe it just has to do with like the amount of water that's on a planet. I know it's different when uh, you're on a strange sea. Because a strange sea may have uh, water of any kind. So, yeah, this is what we've got going so far. Whee! Huh. And, um, well, it looks like the locals are uh, adjusting. No, I'm not fighting anything else. Thank you. No, I'm not helping you either. All right, so that concludes our terraforming an ocean experience. So I'll try this in the future video with some other plants, especially like some of the strange seas. But for now, that's all she wrote. Alright, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Don't forget to share it with all your friends. And also, hit that notification bell, that way you can catch the next video as soon as it comes out. Alright, this is Hardly Barley, signing out.